Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager, first on Fox 4 News at 5.30 tonight. If you have not heard the term cop watch, you're probably at least familiar with what it means. Citizens using cell phones or some other type of recording device to record the police and their work. Well, now Dallas lawmaker is proposing a bill he says would guarantee the right to do that as long as that recording doesn't interfere with police work. Fox 4 Sean Rabb spoke with a bill sponsor and a former federal judge who questions this proposed bill. Sean. Yeah, kind of. Former federal judge Joe Kendall says if the bill becomes law, it could come with what he calls unintended consequences. State Rep. Eric Johnson says it's needed to provide a perfect picture of police at work and the rights of Texans. Just don't violate his rights. Cop watching, like this video shot by cop watchers in Arlington, is a civil liberty. State Representative Eric Johnson wants to bring cop watching into lawmakers' focus. What we want to do is make clear um, what the federal courts have ruled and make clear that what we believe the law to be already in codified in state statute that a citizen of Texas has an inherent right to film a police officer performing their duties in a public place. Johnson's proposed a bill that allows citizens the right to videotape police in public and prevents police from taking recording devices and deleting any images. We've made the bill um, require that the citizen be at a safe distance and not interfering with the police doing their job in order to be able to do this. You're going to jail if you don't back up. Brother, uh, What's that? safe distance. Oh, it, there's not a particular distance. It's really it's really up to the it's frankly it's up to the officer to determine in the situation what's an appropriate distance for them to be because situations can vary so wildly. If we legislatively encourage some person getting up in an officer's business, then I just think that that's it's it's dangerous for all involved. Former officer and retired federal judge Joe Kendall wonders about what he calls unintended consequences with cop watchers, especially with cell phones. And instead of black like mine, maybe it's white, maybe it's chrome case. At night, the officer turns, sees that, he does not know what's going on. It is, in my view, uh, has the potentiality for some very bad things happening. While that safe distance may be an issue, Johnson says the camera doesn't lie. Either way, it, neither distance, you know, close or far, will affect the fact that the law says you can't confiscate and delete the footage without the person's consent. Well, no idea yet on if the cop watch bill will even get out of committee to the floor, but Johnson's on the Homeland Security Public Safety Committee, which would consider this type of legislation, Steve. All right, Sean, we saw a fellow in your video uh, who's become a bit toxic with the Tarrant County open carry, and he's yes. with cop watch, is, is Corey Watkins fellow. I, I wonder, down in, down in Austin, he has become a bit toxic, and if, I, I don't expect him to go down there and campaign, but... Some of the video of, of him and his group, if that's introduced, I imagine that might get something going down in Austin, some opposition maybe. Yeah, well, there's lots of videos like these from across the state, big yep. group down in Austin doing the same kind of thing, same, same in Houston, really across the country. The question is proximity and right. distance to the officer while he's trying to carry out his police work. And if that's not defined, though, right. that's the, that, well, I see that as a problem. If that's not defined, then... Who defines it and how and it'll be up for this kind of confrontation it seems like yeah that's the cloudy part because first of all what's the acceptable distance right who's going to count it off as a police officer is trying to get someone to obey his commands and here's someone to his left or screen right if you will coming into his view with a camera maybe even talking taunting to him as we see in this video out of uh, tarrant county yeah all right well watch it it's interesting sure is sean rapp thanks for okay. newsroom.